Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez. Up next, we head down to New Orleans to catch up with Augusto Cookie Rojas, the general manager of the minor league baseball team, the Baby Cakes. The Baby Cakes happens to be the Triple A affiliate of Major League Baseball's the Florida Marlins. Cookie, who is of Colombian background, started off his career in law, but now he's taking a swing at the lack of diversity in minor league baseball by being one of two Latino general managers in AAA baseball. So put on your spikes and get your batting gloves on because it's time to batter up right here on American Latino TV. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. It's Augusto Cookie Rojas is my full name. Well, believe it or not, everyone thinks it's uh, related to Cookie Rojas, the baseball player. But sadly, it is not based on that. It's basically, I was born uh, and Cookie Monster was very popular on television, and I wouldn't eat unless the Cookie Monster was on TV. I'm Colombian American, and uh, my parents came to the United States back in the 1960s. Back in, uh, they came here to work in uh, textile mills in New England. My parents valued education. They were not well educated themselves. Uh, my mom did have a high school degree. My father had a third grade education. So I was fortunate enough where my parents were willing to work overtime to send me to Catholic school. And uh, I went to uh, St. Matthew's, and then I went to La Salle Academy, which is a Christian brother school in, in Rhode Island in Providence. Specifically, I got an opportunity to go there to play sports. I played football, um, I played, uh, I wrestled, and uh, I ran track. And ironically enough, I got cut from my high school baseball team my freshman year. So that's when my baseball career ended, freshman year. So it's ironic that I work in professional baseball now. My main responsibilities here are to oversee the operation on the business side. A lot of people think that I pick the players, that I, I'm responsible for drafting players. I'm actually not. The way it works in baseball is we have these affiliations with our major league partner. And so our major league partner is the Miami Marlins. So it's the Miami Marlins who select all the players for all their affiliates, all the way from uh, major league all the way down to rookie baseball. And so we as GMs in the minor leagues uh, are responsible for the business itself. So we're responsible for ticket sales, corporate partnerships, community outreach, um, making sure the facility is up to code to help these players advance their careers to get to the big leagues. That's our primary function. Our owner, Lou, always said that minor league baseball is the front porch to a community, and we want to be welcoming to everyone in the community, and so that's been my main charge. If you're not from here, some people have never heard of a king cake. I came down here, never heard of a king cake. I had no idea what a king cake was. I came down here in January, and all of a sudden, every day in our office, we started getting these king cakes. And I noticed that our staff would get together in the kitchen, we'd have coffee, we'd cut the king cake up, and we would share it. And then there'd be a baby inside one of those slices. And I was like, okay, if you have a plastic baby inside a pastry in New England, that's like it's a lawsuit. But down here, it's acceptable, you know? Someone is gonna find that, and what it means is every, that person who gets it has to buy the next one. So I thought it was very interesting. It dawned on me, I said, that's what minor league baseball is all about, is getting people together and having a good time and talking. It's the pastime, it's just having a good time and relaxing, and then hopefully coming back another time and enjoying another game during the season, and cheering the guys on the field. That's what the same thing is. So that's why we changed the name to get people more passionate, more involved, and more engaged. One of the big things that we're excited about is working with the uh, minor league baseball diversity program. You know, we're working to make sure that we have, believe it or not, I'm one of only two Hispanic general managers in AAA baseball. And so what we want to do is we want to really be representative of the communities we serve. And if we have uh, communities diversified as New Orleans is, we want to be representative of that. Or may not know that they can get a career in sports. I didn't know that I could work in sports. I had a baseball team in my hometown. I had no idea. I was pursuing a career in law, and then I realized I could, I, I could work in sports every day. I'd come to a stadium as my office every day. So a lot of fun.